Hey everyone, this testing video isn't going to be too long, mainly because we can't teach you how to fly your own airplane. Once you have it balanced about a quarter of the way back from the wing, it's going to be up to you to test the parameters like what angle you want to fly it at, how high you want to release it from, and even how hard you want to throw it. Each plane is going to be a little bit different, so it's up to you to tweak that kind of stuff and maximize your flight. When I say things like mess around with the angle you throw your plane at, you're going to find that some planes get their best flight from throwing it at the ground and watching it come back up, while some get the other best flight from throwing it up in the air and then having it come down before leveling out. Each plane is going to be different, but one thing I will say is if it goes straight up immediately, you need to add weight to the front of it, and if it starts diving immediately, you need to add weight to the back or take weight off of the front. Not that you need a huge outdoor area to perform these tests, but we're going to take you to the local park where we're going to run you through some trial runs and show you how some of these different planes fly different ways. So step one is if you see any birds out there, go ahead and shoot them out of the way. Just kidding. The actual step one is the form to throw these things. You don't need to overthink it guys, don't bring it too far back. Just bring it to your ear and push it forward, just like this. Here's an example where we're throwing the same plane a little higher up. You're going to notice some more hang time. And check this out. This is an example of how you can alter your plane. In this case, we put some rounded tails and wings and extremities on it. And after pacing it out, it flew about 34 feet. When you give some thrust at an angle, check out the flight pattern. Who knows, maybe it'll help your plane. If you want to go above and beyond and build a launching mechanism out of some basic household materials, you gotta check this out. Cut a paper clip in half, then tape, glue, or stick it into the front of your glider plane. Then build a string of rubber bands, probably about five long, leaving two open loops at the ends. Really tie one of those open loops tight around the end of the pencil so it doesn't go anywhere when you go to launch. And voila! Grab that pencil and attach the other open loop to the paper clip, pull back, and launch. This last one was probably the furthest launch of the session. Although these planes are pretty durable, you might accidentally break one of them. It's not a big deal, friends. Hopefully you have some extra materials from one of your previous builds. And I promise if you have a chipped wing or a tail broke off, just make another one, glue it right back on, and it'll fly like it's new. So if you do accidentally break it and you need some help fixing it, or you run into any questions at all during the build or during the test, please schedule a Zoom call, friends. We'd love to chat with you and get it ironed out. Thank you for tuning in this month. We're so thankful for your support and please check out our bonus video for this project where we have an awesome testimonial this month. Have a great rest of your day, friends.